Hello everyone, and welcome to the next episode of our Stalker Gamma Invictus run. Last time, we left off in the Great Swamps, and uh, as I said, I had to grab a lot of uh, equipment I left off in a stash in the Clear Sky Base. And uh, I did that off screen, I basically had to go twice, I went through Cordon, I didn't do much of anything, actually a target has moved into this area. I killed a couple of bandits, killed a couple of dogs, a couple of boars, so nothing that was honestly worth uh, putting in a video. So I got back to Rostock. I actually managed to find a couple of companions, an experienced and a trainee, uh, which are both duty. So I went back once again, didn't kill much, uh, had a had a meeting with some fleshes and boars in garbage. The bandits didn't spawn back by the time I came. So I kind of had a clear run all the way back to the clear sky base. And I did one more run, but this time with friends carrying my stuff. So it was much easier than the last time. As I was saying last time, uh, today we're gonna try and go for the Miracle Machine. We also managed to upgrade our gear a little bit. Uh, I upgraded my headgear with the first two upgrades. So I'll just go to Mechanic and show you. Here we go. So uh, I got the Stamina Boost. I got the Radiation Protection. Unfortunately, uh, I forgot that you needed Expert Tools for the third upgrade. So... No Psychic Resist for us. Also upgraded the armor a little bit. Again, Stamina Recovery, uh, Health Restoration. And um, I think I had these. Alright, we also repaired our MP153. I actually enjoy it more than the shotgun we had b before, simply because this one is semi-automatic. Uh, it has one less bullet in the magazine, but it fires faster, so uh, that should help us out. Alright, anything else? Not much. We didn't use up a lot of ammunition. Um, oh, also upgraded the backpack and got the Barrett Detector Tier 2 and uh, a pair of night vision goggles. So, we, we had a pretty, pretty good time. I spent a couple of hours just uh, crafting. I think I also repaired... One second, here we go. We also repaired the parts for our G36, but uh, we still need another uh, rifle maintenance kit to fully uh, repair everything. Our AK-105 specialist also has all the functional parts, but again, needs a rifle repair kit. Also, we don't really have a lot of ammo for either one of them. I will probably take the G36 out first, simply because uh, I have a little bit more NATO weapon, na more 5.56 than uh, 5.45. All right, and we will be working on upgrading... Um, I'm not even sure, maybe the veteran battle suit. Uh, it suits me a bit better than the hybrid. Though, honestly, the hybrid's better. I'll probably upgrade the hybrid armored battle suit next, as soon as we get the heavy weapons kit, which we can make with advanced tools, but it does cost a lot. Other than that, uh, we turned in some missions in Rostock. Uh, just some, some mutant parts, so nothing too big. Uh, we got some uh, meds. I will have to go and buy some more water, because I'm running out. And then, what I'm thinking is, uh, I've seen there are a couple of stashes in the truck cemetery. And also a couple of mutant eliminations, el elimination missions. We could actually go that way. There shouldn't be anything that should pose a problem there. But, uh, let's see. So, I'm gonna go grab a bottle of water from the barman, and uh, we'll head off to the truck cemetery first. And here we are. 
We'll just have a little look around first. Ooh, that, that always scares me, that little um, electric anomaly traveling across the um, electrical thing. Okay, so I'm thinking we go to that one first, then uh, we deal with that pack of mutants, we come back this way, deal with this pack of mutants, and then grab the other stashes, come back to Rostock. So like it, let's get on with it. Now, I've only been... I, I haven't been here on this run at all. I think. <laughs> uh, and I've only been here uh, twice since the 9.1091 patch. But I do know it should be a bit more difficult than it was before. So uh, let's uh, have a little look-see and see what's what's waiting for us out there. I'm going to guess this is underneath. There it is. <laughs> yeah. But another set of advanced tools is nice. And uh, another AK-105. I, I could... Uh, nah. Let's just... I'll disassemble this. And I'll just pick these things. Okay. We already have an AK-105. We don't really need another. I will probably upgrade the one we have to a swamp thing at some point because it is uh, it is my favorite five. Well, uh, one of my favorites five five six uh, weapons. It's my favorite for mid game. Late game, I will usually upgrade to something like a butcher. But in the mid game, I, I don't know. Like, Blah! <laughs> Sorry, uh, my 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 uh, tongue is not cooperating. Um, mid game, there's just something about the swamp thing that I really enjoy. I'm not sure what. It's not the best weapon out there, but uh, I do feel really good when I when I run with it. So I'm not, not going to rush around here too much. I'd rather just uh, walk a bit slower and uh, mind my surroundings. Okay. Maybe try not to get hit by that. And there's another anomaly. And the mutants should be around here too. Oh, it's just a flesh. Okay. Let's climb up here. Okay. That got dealt with. <laughs> Liquid gold, if only. Alright. There could be an artifact around here. Anything? Oh, there we go. Oh, please don't be in the middle of the anomaly. Oh, there it is. It's a signet. I mean... We are going to go to Yantar next, so... Um, having some extra artifacts to sell uh, will be good. Right, what's next? Going here. So, I'm going to go down this line and then uh, move out in the open. I'm not sure if it's good or, ba or bad. I do know there usually are some... Um, weird mutant spawns around the northern part of the forest. Okay, I, I hear zombies, so I'm gonna switch my guys to ignore combat. Okay, I hear something else as well. Oh, it's just flesh. Um... 
магазин! Смена магазина! Oh, I see something moving there. There was something moving really fast over there. Could be a fracture. Chimera. Not this weapon. Oh, crap. Oh, keep fighting, guys. Come on. We have a Chimera over here, and my guy's gonna get whacked by a zombie. Really. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, there we go. That's one. I thought it was gonna jump on my ally, so I, I didn't dodge in time. That that could have been completely lethal. I also hear cats in the distance. Come on. I would like your hands. Oh. Are you? I thought it was gonna die. <laughs> All right, so apparently I'm not at my ba at my best right now, but we must go on. We'll we'll get back into it. Don't like another snort. Okay, so no snork hands on this one either. These handless snorks. Horrible. Okay, but we did find another dead fracture, which also has nothing. And I think those were all the missions here. We just have to go down here and get our stashes. Looks clear. Oh, is it inside? Here we go. Great, another Chimera Hunter. Don't really care about the Graphite suit. Don't care about the red line. Okay, and there's another stash. Over there? Somewhere? Here it is. I don't hear any mutants around. So I think we're safe. And where is it? Ah, there we go. Ooh, Mosin parts. Sure, we do have a Mosin at home. We could fix that. Um, we do have a better uh, shotgun. Uh, not shotgun, sniper rifle, but uh, it, it doesn't hurt. Okay, let's grab another bite and uh, let's head back to Rostock. Okay, here we are back in Rothstock. I ran around a bit. Uh, I turned in a few missions. Again, went through the task board, grabbed whatever I had to turn in, and we also upgraded our hunting knife, so we should be able to loot better mutants now. So, as promised, we're gonna go to the Miracle Machine, and we're gonna go through the Wild Territory. We should have enough ammo. 130 shots of buck should be more than enough. I'm expecting some of the MP5 ammo to be used on the mercs, and the same with the 
SV98 ammo. But uh, let's hope we're going to work it out. Okay, here we are. I'm going to tell my guys to wait. And uh, yeah, let's use these rounds. And I know for sure there's a target up there just because... Mine's bigger. Oh, there's another one there, and I can't see him properly. But I can see that guy. Okay, he's down and bleeding, and that guy. Can't tell where his head is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Took a bit of damage, but I, I think we're okay. Do we have an antidote? Oh, never mind. Uh, I forgot what heals legs and arms. Uh, except the ibuprofen. Let's just get one of these and we should be good. Okay. I did hear a merc calling for support. But I don't see anyone else up there except that guy that's bleeding. And uh, let's hope we... Let's hope he doesn't get up, basically. Oh yeah, I'm 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 coming. Oh, there's one stash there. I know how to get that. Let's do a quick swap here. Last time we were here we had uh, fractures charging us from there. Oh you're gonna bleed out. Poor thing. Right, we're just gonna grab everything from them. Ooh! Uh, don't care about that. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna disassemble it. <laughs> and also... I could craft uh, an upgraded uh, fuel cooking kit this time. Let's just keep that. We'll, we'll give it to one of our guys. Hello there. Here, take my stuff. Oh, I'm actually hearing something behind us. Okay, it's, it's a poltergeist and I think someone is shooting at it. You guys wait here. God. This anomaly is always very funky to get to. Uh, my best attempt were going something like this. Okay. I mean, it's something. Okay, and back through the middle pillar. Very nice and easy. All right, and we're out. Um, now let's walk to this. Our shotgun is still loaded up. And let's see what we have here. The mercs are definitely fighting something. Oh, snorks. I mean, may maybe they'll kill each other. I would really love that. Ooh, and we've got strength level 13. That's cool. See what's over there. Looks like it's clear. I do hear some, some zombies on the other side. And also someone triggered um, missing duty soldier in there. Okay. Uh, I will come back after clearing the Merc base. 
which doesn't seem to have anyone there. Maybe the Snorks got him? Guys, come on. Yeah, let's let's go around first. Yeah, I, I really... Is this the anomaly or is it the poltergeist? Let's go nice and easy. Oh, I think I saw the pol poltergeist over there. There was definitely something sparking. And I think I might have also heard cats. We're good for now. I don't think there are any throwables around us. Oh great, I think it went the other way. Which sucks because there are definitely things to throw around here. God damn it. Crap. It's a good it's a good thing the ghost spawned, because otherwise I wouldn't have uh, seen that thing. Where the hell are you? Just gonna walk very slowly because I don't want to trigger it. I don't know if there are things to throw around here. There shouldn't be any, but... Okay, finally. That's done with. So, from here, we should be able to snipe any Merc that's still around. But I don't think I see anyone up here. I think with the changes they made last uh, to the fauna around here, uh, they just uh, get uh, murdered by Snorks, or they spawn at their base and don't... Uh, don't take care of this little outpost here anymore. Oh, there's a stash there. It's probably upstairs. I'm going to deal with the mercs first. Looks clear. Uh, our MP5 should have uh, AP ammo equipped. I think the zombies are actually... Oh, there's one. Two of them. Uh, okay, I, I hope they don't come after us. And let's see... Okay, that's two. Three. I saw you down there. I grazed them. Oh, our guys will deal with it. Oh, I 
really need to get the um, adaptive zoom for this. Because this is just a bit too, too much zoom for my taste. Not really in a hurry here, mister. Okay, that got him. We'll take some vodka. And is that a corpse? Oh no, it's just a dead rat. So, uh, yeah, it, it is a corpse. <laughs> okay, let's uh, go deal with those two zombies over there and grab our... Okay, it's just the zombies. I thought I heard something worse for a moment there. Okay, that solved it. I was wrong. That didn't solve it. This one should be dead. Okay. Ooh. With knife. Okay, I'll... Um, I'll do some anti-rad here, just because this particular time... Uh, building is so full of radiation it's it's just crazy and here's our fallen duty soldier got killed by a bloodsucker and he even gave us a bloodsucker heart which uh, is really cool okay actually let's go all the way back because i just re no we never mind we did take that stash i was thinking of the stash uh, under the um, Oh crap. Um All right, we can we can just uh run into their base real fast. Though I don't really like hiding in there cuz it's just so much uh We have time to loot them, so should be good. You know what? I'll take this one. I think we only have a standard G36 at home. Don't care about that one. And... Get the matchbox. Okay. This was pretty nice. We can grab a bite to eat, uh, have something to drink, and uh, we'll wait out the anomaly here. Okay, we're back. <clears throat> the storm passed. And uh, we can get back to... Oh crap, the rats are crazy here. should still have rad protection. What the hell? Uh, vodka, vodka, vodka. There we go. That should help a bit. And I will do one med kit just because I'm I'm so damaged. Okay, where is this stash? There we go. Ooh. You know what? I'll take it. Never hurts to have a... 
Never hurts to have a, a good anomaly explore, exploration suit. Do we have any other stashes around? No. So we can start moving to Yantar. We'll also keep an eye on our detector just in case any anomaly pops up, any uh, artifact pops up. Because after, after an emission like this, or I think this was a Psy Storm actually, after, after an emission like this usually they just appear everywhere. And we have a pseudo dog corpse. And I think there's actually an artifact over there. I always forget which way I should go. Yep, there's the artifact. I'll take a right here. And... Um, I should be good if I do this, I hope. Yep. Okay. Alright, we didn't get burned there. And here I think we should go right. And we're through. Cool. Oh yeah. I, I remember the sandstone. We we I think we have two uh, two more back home. Alright, so we have an open path all the way down to Yantar. We're gonna go, we're gonna turn in one quest. Uh, we had to pick up a mutant de detector. And then we're gonna swing by the miracle machine. Okay, here we are in Yantar. Let's go drop off our things, and then um, I will, uh, I'm considering if I should let my guys wait for me in the base, or if I should bring them all the way to the Miracle Machine, and then ask them to wait. Uh, and I think I'll bring them all the way to the Miracle Machine, because uh, there is all, kind of, all kinds of weird stuff in there. Um, and I, I think I could use the help. That's cool that there's a lot of broken stuff around here, which I can pick up. Maybe we'll, uh, upgrade our 545 barrel. Sure. Maybe we'll upgrade our, our, um, detector or even better the night vision. Let's see, here have this, and I'll keep the rest. And the glow sticks. Don't really need the glow sticks. And I think we're good. Yeah. We could actually leave the sniper rifle at home as well. We could drop it here in the base. Uh, do we have anything to fix? Yes, I will repair anything. And this... No, this is good. Alright. And I should also fix my armor. Um, actually, we do have a glue tube, so... Let's just use it up. Oh, helm's broken too. Uh... You there. Just, uh, I'll take some duct tape. I think this fixes is exactly 3 uh, percent, so... Done. Okay. I'll pick up whatever else is uh, just lying around here. And uh, I'm gonna need my guys to come in here with me. Oh! I completely forgot about this, but uh, is this medium? It's medium. Let's just take it and maybe we'll fix it when we come back. You hold my armor and give me 
all of the juicy artifacts. Oh yeah. And we're just gonna bulk sale these to uh, Professor Sakharov. We also get a bit more weight to carry. We'll sell this. And, oh, 30,000. That's actually not bad at all. Uh, for just basic artifacts, I don't mind. Okay, anything else we could use here? Um, hmm. So, before we go in, I'm guessing I'll... Uh, I'm guessing I'll do a morphine, which will get me a bit dizzy. I will definitely do a psi block, and I'll buy another one. Yep. Which will get me even more dizzy, and you know what? I'll get an epinephrine as well. This will remove all our dizziness. It will uh, increase our... Um, our uh, fatigue regeneration. Really, our stamina, actually. Really, really... Uh, fast, so we'll be able to run all the way through the Miracle Machine like that. And uh, hopefully, hopefully it will work out. Usually my my most successful tactic when I'm a little bit uh, undergeared, not that this is undergeared, this is kind of okay, is uh, to, after running in, just make a rush for the bottom of the elevator. That way I can avoid avoid mo mo blah 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 blah. That way I can avoid most ghosts, uh, which spawn from the guys underneath. Then, uh, if I'm really blocked, I will kill whatever's down there. Hopefully, I won't, and I keep running all the way to the bloodsucker tunnel behind the pipes. Kill the bloodsuckers, and from there, once you get to the actual miracle machine area it uh, should be nice and easy we don't have grenades we only have one grenade so we will not be fighting the pseudo giant that's for sure i'm just gonna run from it as for the snorks on the way out i think we can deal with it if we just move nice and slow um, oh yeah, I forgot to leave my weapons behind. I'll take this. And I'll make the shotgun the third weapon. We really don't need the sniper rifle down here, so I'll just leave it in the stash, along with the G36. Anything else? Uh, I can drop these, just so we are nice and light for when we go there. Um, there shouldn't be any radiation, so I think we're good. Yeah. Alright. Drop this. And, uh, uh... I'm kinda sad I don't have any... Um... HP rounds for the MP5. Actually, one of my guys could have some, but... I'll just swap to FMJ, and that should be enough for now. I generally have a rifle the first time I go down here. But I'm sure it will be uh, fine. Hey there. Oh, I didn't actually check the dashboard. Let's let's give it a little look. See if we can do anything. No, I'm not going back to the Great Swamps right now. Proximity up. Ah, uh, sure. Okay, mutants in Yantar. We'll do that. Uh, uh, that's a free stash. And another stash in wild. Uh, no, I'm not going to Agroprom Underground. I, I had enough of it. <laughs> All right, and I don't think we have anything else on hand to give these guys. Yeah. Okay, where are those mutants actually? Oh, it's probably Snorks behind the Miracle Machine. We can actually do that, I think.
we we will just have to take care that we don't kill get killed by the by the psi ghosts otherwise i think it should be pretty easy These are friendlies. What what are they fighting actually? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's in the. Uh... Yep, it's it's in here. We we can get that. It shouldn't be too hard. Okay, and uh... there should be another. I'm pretty sure there's going to be another artifact here. I mean, it, there almost always is another artifact here. And there it is. Let's see if we can make it all the way there. Preferably without getting our asses cooked. There we go. It's a lamp. Uh, I think lamps uh, pinpointed the way to artifacts at night. And stashes. Which is pretty cool. Oh, also an RF RF receiver um, thing. The problem is um, in Gamma, all the stashes are empty unless you do a mission, and once you do a mission, they're marked on your map anyway. So uh, the lamp is not that uh, not that amazing. Okay, apparently we don't even need an artifact detector for this. It's a moon. Is there any other thing? No. Okay, we do have to go this way to jump back up. Okay. That's the poltergeist. The thing is, behind that wall, there's usually a lot of snorks. And I... Okay, that's actually better than me having to deal with it. Oh, and those were the dangerous mutants, actually. All right, I'm I'm good with that. Oh boy, here we are. So I'll take it, tell my guys to wait because they're not going to be any help down there, and uh, I will actually pre-med right now. So, as we said, we'll take a morphine, just in case we get um, some bloodsuckers dealing damage to us. Alright, we'll take our Psy block. Where is it? There we go. This will get us really dizzy, but we can always fix it with some epi. Perfect. And then we'll just have a swig of water to finish off with that. And uh, wish me luck. <laughs> okay, here we are. Turn on our night vision. I know this night vision kind of sucks, but there's not much I can do about it. So let's just run all the way down. I know there might be zombies down here and uh, I can already hear Psy Ghost going crazy and there's a zombie down there which I can't do much about from here okay we can hear the snorks as well let's just Oh, there is a bloodsucker as well. Okay, let's let's just skip all of this. Eh. 
<laughs> oh, they're right there. <laughs> the thing is, once I get here, we should be uh, okay. Should be being the operative keyword. Okay, we do have a snorking coming. You were supposed to die. <sighs> yeah, so I think they actually have a... I think they actually have a point where they simply uh, can't follow you anymore. Which is right at this door. But I will probably go back to deal with them just so I don't get any more uh, ghost surprises. At least the bloodsuckers. Yeah, I hear them. Yep, they're there. There's the snork. Which actually, I think, bugged out. Okay, we got that one. I also really wanna get the snork hands if I can. And I think I saw another dead bloodsucker back there. Oh. Huh. Wonder how he died. Did the snorks kill him? Because I def definitely didn't. Alright, you know what? Come on. Yeah, I, I need the night vision. Oh, that was scary. Um, <clears throat> I, I thought I'd see better without it, but... Nah. Alright, that's another. Come on. And there's our snork hand. And yeah, I, I know I am abusing the bad mechanics a little bit, but you know what? Yama doesn't forgive me with its mechanics, so uh, I'm gonna use them against it. Alright, is that all? Oh, another dead bloodsucker, and... Uh... Alright, I think that's it. I don't hear any other mutants running around. That wasn't that bad. Uh, rupture resistance, bleeding control. I think what we have is better. Actually, 
It is better than the boar pelt at this very moment, simply because uh, I don't really need weight resistance and uh, carry weight right now. Okay, let's just make sure everything is nice and reloaded. <clears throat> oh, I can't really see the crosshair with the uh, night vision. Oh, that's bare. Or maybe I'm just really bad at aiming today. <laughs> All right, let's let's start this up. Uh, hello, there we go. Hmm. Okay, that dealt with him. Ah. Uh. Uh, hello? Okay, that's the second one. Uh, I think I heard the snork. Okay, I just had to turn my volume down a bit because it's... Uh, it's a bit too much. <laughs> and I started screaming at the mic. Okay, that's one zombie, another zombie. I know for sure there's gonna be a snork upstairs, maybe two. Okay, here we go. Damage, damage. There he is. How the hell did you get to me from there? Well, at least it was just a leg. Alright, let's get our ibuprofen on. Would have been nice if we had a mine to place over there, where the um, bureau will spawn. Okay, here goes nothing. Now I can already hear him back there. Problem is, I can't do anything now because I'm gonna get really dizzy and fall on my side. Yeah, come on, get up. Okay, and he should be right over. Oh! That should have fixed it. No? Come on. Oh, worked out in the end. <laughs> and we got a Bureau Hand too. Okay, so the final thing here is uh, there's a controller right through that door. Hello, buddy. Nope. I gotta take some distance. Oh, 
All oh, right, we got him. Okay, that was uh, the hardest part. Um, and we got a controller hand too. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to turn on the flashlight from here. Uh, there, I don't think there was anything in these areas here. I'll recheck them just in case. Okay, there should be some documents on the floor over there. We'll take those. I think uh, the military will want them at some point. Or someone. <laughs> and we go out through here. Oh, we're not out of the woods yet. We're gonna jump in that tunnel as soon as we check these crates out. Okay. And uh, we're gonna fight some snorks. Okay. Here we are. And there's already a snork. So, as I said, we're not out of the woods yet. This uh, part is not easy at all. <laughs> Either there's a lot of snorks, there's gonna probably be zombies with guns. And there's a pseudo giant we're gonna have to run away from. Since I used my last screen. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Uh, we should expect the snork behind every mound. It's, it's usually how, how they appear. And as I was saying, because we used our last grenade on the Bureau, uh, we're definitely not going to take out the Pseudo-Giant. It's... Uh, we probably could run around the sewers um, and kite it, but it, it would probably use up all of our bullets. So I'd rather not bother with it. Okay, that, that was a nice shot. And there's two zombies over there. There's one, and I just saw one go around the corner. Uh, the guys down here have guns. There's also a burner anomaly out here, up here, so let's just try and avoid it. And as always, I'm expecting a snork here. There he is. Hmm, no snork hands. That's kind of sad. Oh, there's a zombie. My dude's got an exosuit on, and I'm firing a... Hydroshock. That's, uh... Uh, that was annoying, and I, I was firing APM with him. Okay, let's see. Nothing to the left. Oh boy. Usually, yeah, there's one. Did he see me? I don't think so. Oh crap! Run! Okay, did we get both of them? One, and there's the other. Okay, we got them. Okay, see those boxes there? That's where the pseudo-giant comes up. We're still running on epine epinephrine, so uh, we should be able to run really fast. And go! If we had explosives, we could deal with them. Oh, crap. Alright. Oh, shit. Just ignore that one. Ah, Lucky enough, they can't aim for shit, but they did still manage to tag me a little bit. And I don't think there should be anything else. Uh, no, we're, we're good. Okay. And here's the stairwell. 
Oh, and we are out of the miracle machine. Let's turn off our flashlight. It wasn't the best one. It wasn't the worst one. We managed to get through it. Well, let's just jump down. Get our guys to follow us again. And I'm going to just run straight back to the base. There's someone fighting over there. We got a message from, from Sakharov telling us that the miracle machine is off, so... Ooh! Cool. Okay, uh, do you have any food for me? Because I just noticed I'm completely out. That's not even that expensive, but I'll get two sets of beans and two sets of whatever. Okay. Let's also go quickly fix our weapons. Not like that, like this. Go, and the pistol, and we're gonna have to get something for armor fixing. We have some duct tape here. So let's just use this. Okay. And actually, I'll get some more stuff for fixing armors, just because... Uh, yeah, and, uh, perfect. Okay, just so we have it, we if we don't use it for fixing our armor right now, uh, there's, uh, we, we can always, um, wait a second. I, I was gonna do the mission, but I think it's upstairs. Um, there's, there we go. Oh, there you are. Oh wait, stash in the dead city. I don't really care for that. Okay, I will talk to Sakharov again, just because uh, I would like to buy some meds. And sell these artifacts as well. After that, um, we're actually... Um, approaching one hour since we started. And uh, just so we end up in a nice, comfy, comfy place, I'll uh, go back home, drop everything off, see if we can uh, fix anything that we picked up. Uh, maybe get this armor running, because uh, it's, um, I'm going to say it's better than what we have, I think. With upgrades, it's probably going to be better. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, so... For the last part, we're going to run straight through the wild territory. We have two stashes over here. Now, I am very worried here about the mercs. Mostly because it's really hard to fight them uh, from this... Uh, from this entrance. We'll basically uh, have to fight that whole base all at once. And we won't be able to snipe them from a distance, I don't think. But let's, let's see what happens. Okay, here we are. Wild territory. I'm gonna um gonna load my sniper rifle with AP rounds. Just because if we end up fighting um if we end up fighting mercs, I, I'm probably gonna try and uh hide behind the corner and try to snipe snipe them uh, from there. Okay, let's see. Oh, pseudo dogs. Let's see if we can make them come at me through the anomaly. <clears throat> no? Okay, one of them got burned. Hmm. 
Okay, let's see. We go right. Wrong. <laughs> oh boy. I I hate burners. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to fix everything right now just because uh, we're gonna. I forgot to buy meds. Oh boy. Well, I'm pretty sure the dogs are done with, so grab our AP rounds and uh, left. It is left. Oh, nice and easy. Oh, there's actually. Anomaly shouldn't reach me here. Okay. And right again. Should be. Okay, we're through. Still a burner right there. Can I reach this dog without getting burned? Yes, I can. Okay, and now the other one. I hate burners. Okay. I, I can hear them down there. Okay. Um. Gonna tell my guys to wait right here behind the corner. And uh, I don't see anyone, but. But I can hear them. Okay, I there's one and run back. It's two. Oh, come on. Ignore combat, come back here. Now wait. I know if they're gonna go in, they're just gonna get themselves killed. That's interesting. I've expected that guy to shoot at me, like, a lot. Bright side, our guys are no longer in combat, so I... Uh... Okay, so it's just a... Oh. Okay, there, there's more there. I don't want to be here. Okay. Sure, walk right in front of me. What could happen? magazine. <laughs> Where are you? Okay, not my best shot. Oh, he he cooled down. He relaxed. <laughs> okay, I think that should be all of them. Oh, I'm I'm in the middle of rads, aren't I? Okay, let's take an anti-rad med. Already looted these guys. 
And uh, let's... Uh, have some cigarettes to reduce the rags. And one more. Oh, I got the other ones. <laughs> this one was already lit when he pulled it out of the pack. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, where where were the other guys I shot? So, two of them there. One right here. Did I kill this one? I don't remember. Okay, um... And one here. Oh. Oh, whatever. Take this as well. And the rest should be clear. Okay, we're still not out of the woods yet. There might be a couple more up here. Plus uh, the mutants over there, if there are any. Let's just see. I do know that they were fighting something, because I heard gunshots when... Uh, when I changed the uh, locations. Oh, I know where this stash is. Oh, God. Please don't be the stash I'm thinking about. Because there's a stash right there in the parking lot. But there's also one... I... Uh, here? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Is this a heavy armor? Yeah. I'll still take it. Okay, and the other one is... Oh, right there. Okay. Uh, follow me, guys. And we'll take our shotgun... Funny enough, with all the stuff that's happening around here, I think this episode is uh, action-packed enough that I don't even need to cut it. <laughs> okay, there's a poltergeist there. Almost got my, my friend's head blown off there. Ooh, wow. Gauss batteries. Nice. Love me some Gauss batteries. Okay. Uh, there might be even more mutants. So... Let's not get complacent yet. Any artifacts around... There's an artifact. Okay, where? Oh, I'm gonna have to climb the train. Get to that one. Okay, and on the edge. Is it below? I think it is. Oh, great. Alright, I'll just ignore the unreachable jellyfish. Is it, though? Yeah, no, I, I won't be able to get to that one. Oh, and I also had a bin here. Okay, well, that damaged my gear pretty badly, so let's just fix it again.
Okay, any other stashes around? No? Swapping back to the MP5, because there might be mercs up there. <clears throat> Which also sucks, because again... Okay, that was one. Oh, yes, the Lore Walker. I just love these guys. Oh. Come on. Okay, was that it? I think that was it. Oh, loner here too. And, uh, oh, it's just a uh, Mosin. Another map, that's nice. I don't really use them, I kind of know where most anomalies are located, so... Uh, but they do sell for a little bit, which is nice. That scared me a bit. Okay, and here we are, back in Rostock. Oof, home sweet home. Let's uh, do a little mission grab real quick. Just in case I have to eliminate those dogs that I hear up top. Not going to Dark Valley. Definitely not going to Dark Valley. Okay, that's that. Uh, Crux Cemetery, we'll take that. It was fun when we went there last time. We do have a boar leg. Uh, okay, we'll we'll just uh, check that out after, basically between videos. Um, but for now, I think uh, we'll leave it at that. So, for a quick recap, day. We started from Rostock after bringing all our stuff from uh, the Clear Sky base between episodes, and we also got a couple of buddies. We moved through Wild Terror... Actually, we went to the Crux Cemetery, we finished a few quests there, almost got murdered by a Chimera. We then came back, went through Wild Territory, murdered some mercs, grabbed a few stashes, went to Yantar, where we went to the Miracle Machine, finished that. Um, it was, uh, um, again, not the worst run, not the best run. We could have done a few things better, but all in all, we survived, and that's what's important. Then we came back, killed some more mercs in wild territory, grabbed a few more stashes, and we are back in Rostock where we will uh, sell some stuff, see if we can fix a better armor, and uh, maybe, just maybe, we'll get our heavy armor kit, though I'm not sure we have enough money to build it, because I definitely don't have enough parts. Right. Next time, we will uh, probably go through the Crux Cemetery again, just because it's it's a nice, quick and easy, and it's right there. And after that, we will probably... I'm thinking it's time for us to take a run through army warehouses. 
because we do have a lot of stashes. I think if we get enough bullets for our sniper rifle, we could actually even take their base. Because we can just hide behind. There's a there's a broken car here. We can just hide behind here and we can see everyone that comes across the bridge. Which means uh, it's, it's basically a firing range for us. But uh, yeah, main priority is the missions and the stashes. We got a few... Um, a few assassination quests here and uh, of course the call of the north with monolith which uh, is scary but i think we can make it yeah we'll probably take our 556 rifle with us or our specialist and uh, uh monolith should be okay i mean it we can hide behind uh, something, deal with a couple of them, and just let uh, let the uh, gatekeeper deal with the rest. But until then, I'll just uh, take a look and see what I can craft around here. And I'll see you next time.